Welcome to Bladed Tech Musings, the channel dedicated to retro tech, innovation, science, and technological entertainment. This episode is about a six-year-old U.S. battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell truck designer and manufacturer that has gone public but hasn't produced a single vehicle beyond a few prototypes. The non-engineer founder's sole experience in alternative energy vehicles is selling hydrogen diesel conversion kits. The company's owner, other than the founder, is a publicly traded Wall Street investment scheme with no experience in hydrogen fuel cell technology. What if I told you this company has lost almost $200 million since inception, is forecasting zero revenue for 2020, and isn't expected to be in full rate production until 2028 in an assembly plant that hasn't even been built yet? What if I told you that this same company publicly unveiled its consumer version hydrogen electric pickup truck, not with a glitzy reveal with a prototype being rolled onto the stage, not with a road test by hand-picked automotive journalists, but rather by issuing a press release with just a rendering and a few promised specs. Given the aforementioned information and the fact that you can buy shares in Ford representing an interest in the electric F-150, or shares in Tesla, or even wait on the public offering for Rivian, would you buy stock in this truck designer and manufacturer? No? Well, hold on to your seats, because tens of thousands of retail true believers already have. That company is called Nikola, and it reached $34 billion in stock market valuation a week after its public listing this month, June 2020, and six months after its last round of funding valued the company at $3.3 billion. This means Nikola, which is essentially not more than an office lease and a prototype workshop, is worth more than Ford, more than Fiat Chrysler, and nearly as much as General Motors, and more than Rivian after its latest funding round. Nikola is still worth less than Tesla, which had a $175 billion stock market valuation at the time of this video. It is not clear which is more absurd, that Tesla is worth more than GM, Ford, and Fiat Chrysler put together or that Nikola, which is only slated to produce semi-trucks and pickup trucks, is worth a fifth of Tesla. The company claims it will start delivering a battery electric semi-truck next year, followed by two fuel cell electric models in 2023. It also admitted that the pickup truck, dubbed the Badger, might not actually make it into production. In the company's public offering filing, it said that the company is focused on making Class 8 heavy-duty vehicles and doesn't expect to build a Badger, unless it finds an established manufacturer to partner with. Nevertheless, Nikola plans on starting to take orders for the pickup on June 29, 2020. Nikola went public, not by issuing new shares, but by virtue of being acquired by a publicly traded SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Company, a company whose sole reason for being is to acquire another by issuing stock and warrants to investors who are counting on quick appreciation. Founding investors of SPACs make money by putting in very little cash, but extracting significant amounts of equity in the acquired company. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is an exciting day as we welcome Nikola Corporation, who's listing on the NASDAQ under the symbol NKLA. Nikola is a global leader in zero emission, heavy duty trucks and hydrogen infrastructure. The company designs and develops battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles in Class 8 semi-trucks. Nikola's mission 
is to transform the transportation industry while improving their employees' lives and leaving the world a better place. Nikola manufactures electric components, drivetrains, and vehicles, including the Nikola 1 and Nikola 2 electric semi-trucks. Nikola Power Sports is a, is a pioneer in electric off-road and power sports applications. The company designs electric off-highway vehicles and personal watercrafts for commercial and military markets. Nikola plans to use the proceeds to accelerate its portfolio of battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles targeting zero emissions globally. Nikola will build out a hydrogen station infrastructure to support its FCEV vehicles. So today is a testament to the hard work of everyone at Nikola Motors and for your passion to lead and innovate. Your people and culture reflect the virtues of American entrepreneurism and NASDAQ is certainly honored to share today's closing bell with each and every one of you. We are certainly looking forward to a very successful partnership and now I would like to turn it over to Trevor to say a few words. Welcome live from Phoenix, Arizona at Nikola Motor Company's headquarters. The world has been changing a lot lately and some of it for the good. This is why I'm so excited today to be able to introduce Nikola Motor Company to the NASDAQ. Nikola Motor Company has over $10 billion in pre-orders for zero emission semi-trucks. We're the leader in zero emission technology around the world. We're the first publicly traded company specifically designed around zero emissions only and changing transportation as we know it. One of the great things Nikola Motor Company has done is joint ventured with Iveco in Europe. This factory in Ulm, Germany, will be the location that's building all the trucks and the batteries for our trucks around Europe. In the United States, our factory is going up into Arizona. These factories will be able to produce over 35,000 zero emission semi trucks, reducing the amount of emissions around the world to a number that's unprecedented. This is where our opportunity today is to celebrate with all of you and of our employees, all of our fans and our believers, everyone who wants to actually change the world. I want to thank all the governments and all the investors that have made this possible. It's now my opportunity and my pleasure to count down to the ringing of the bell for the NASDAQ with Nikola Motor Company. Nikola had about $86 million in cash at the end of last year. Prior to the stock listing, it had raised more than $500 million of private capital. One of its investors plans on building a 50-50 venture with Nikola in Europe that aims to start producing battery electric trucks in Germany in the first half of 2021. Nikola is planning to build a 1 million square foot facility south of Phoenix and start making trucks in 2021. It's expecting to reach full production of about 30,000 fuel cell electric vehicles in 2027 and 15,000 battery electric vehicles the following year. Nikola claims it has reservations for 14,000 fuel cell trucks. As a comparison, Tesla expects to ship over 500,000 vehicles in 2020 in spite of the pandemic and also has a robust energy storage and solar power business. Before Nikola went public, the company was best known for suing Tesla for patent infringement of its semi-truck body design in 2018. Tesla asked the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to invalidate Nikola's patents on the basis of prior art and wraparound semi-truck design, but the U.S. PTO rejected Tesla's arguments and upheld the patents in April of 2020. Thus, the case appears to be headed to court. Nikola claims $2 billion in damages, although neither company has produced more than prototypes of their semi-trucks. What do you think about Nikola and its future in the alternative energy vehicle business? Share with us by dropping a comment below. We hope you enjoyed this briefing on Nikola's beginning as a public company and how they stack up to the competition. If so, click that like button. Not a subscriber yet? Clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon will help both our YouTube standing and keep you informed when new episodes are released. Links to our previous episodes can be found below. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed. Make sure you follow our Twitter account where all new episodes are announced. And finally, join us on our Facebook page where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.